My AI voice, it's perfect. Everyone says it sounds amazing, maybe the best ever. Imagine generating speech that sounds human locally with a single recording. That's not even a real person talking. That's AI, and it sounds freaking perfect. Once upon a time, only humans could speak like this, until new TTS changed everything. Good evening, sir. System online. Neural speech engine activated. All voice modules are stable. New TTS is ready for deployment. They were all generated by AI right on my laptop. No Eleven Labs, no cloud services, just one open source model called New TTS Air. And that last voice, yep, you can now make Java style voices right on your own system. No cloud, no verification hassles. Do you remember the Kokoro TTS video? The open source model that topped the open source TTS charts? But everyone asked the same thing. Can it make custom voices? Can it sound like me? Can it sound less robotic? All those issues gets fixed with this new TTS Air lets you generate English voices with studio-like quality. From assistant style tones to professional narrator, there are no limits, no verification checks, no subscriptions. When I released the Kokoro video, the comment section blew up. Voice cloning for Kokoro please. Can you add an option to add custom voice of our own? I have a voice sample, how do I use that? How to add custom voice? So I went digging for you guys, tested every model and went through every dependency nightmare until I found new TTS and I have built a solution that finally works. By the end of this video, you'll know how to clone any voice locally and use it for free forever. Here's the problem. Most open source TTS models sound robotic and support only fixed set of voices. And the commercial platforms? Sure, they sound great, but they lock you behind subscriptions, free usage limits, and voice verification checks. Anyone who has tried creating their own AI voices knows the struggle, but that ends today. But I know what you are thinking. Setup will be hell again, right? Nope. I packaged everything, one installer, one click. Let's see how you can get this thing running. The new TTS is a model from Newphonic. And they released this model a few weeks ago and you can see it's quite popular and it has been downloaded for about 40,000 times in last one month and it's a 0.7 billion parameters model and if we talk about the size it takes around 1.5 GB of size which is not that bad for this kind of quality and new TTS is based on 1.5 billion model it uses its own proprietary audio codec and they also say that it has watermarked outputs and also it gives real-time generation on mid-range devices and it is optimized for mobile and embedded devices as well so yeah this is quite good considering that this has been made open source and it can run on any devices with such speed and they have released their own repository as well and you can close this repository and run it at your end but this is quite cumbersome and it took me a lot of time to get it running but this repository does not have a graphical user interface it runs only in the terminal and if you want to use it you will have to build a GUI yourself but you don't have to worry about it because I've already built a GUI for you and it's ready to use and they have also compared this with 11 labs so let's see how does the comparison video sound my name is Maximus Decimus Meridius commander of the armies of the north my name is Maximus Decimus Meridius commander of the armies of the north general of the Felix legions and loyal servant to the true emperor Marcus Aurelius father to a murdered son husband to a murdered wife and I will have my vengeance in this life or the next and as you can see the quality was so similar between the two models the 11 labs 2.5 flash model which is quite pricey and now you have this open source version which can run right on your local device these new models they are democratizing the ai for the masses so your next question would be how can i download this tool that you have built so i'll share this google drive link in the video's description and now you have two versions one is the cpu version uh, and if you have a amd gpu then also you'll have to use the cpu version because for gpu version it needs to be an nvidia device because it requires cuda libraries which are supported only on an nvidia gpu and if you have an NVIDIA GPU, you are in luck because this version is blazingly fast and generates the output as fast as 11 labs, which is quite good. So 
without wasting any time let's just click on this three dots and then click on download and don't worry these files are already scanned for viruses i have my casper sky antivirus running which has already scanned these files so you can download them without any worries and just click on download and once you have downloaded the zip file you can extract it using any zip extractor and i have downloaded both the versions so first we'll be testing the cpu version and once you open the folder you will find that there is a uh, installer here called eSpeak ng so this is a dependency which you have to install first which is a small installation of uh, around 12 mb you just click on next uh, since i had already installed it i don't have to install it again but you can install it if you are installing it for the first time if you already have ng speak installed and install this version because this is the latest and once you have done that you just have to click on this run new tts.bat that's it guys just one installation and then you are ready to run this as soon as you click on it it will trigger a python terminal which will start the new tts server and it will also open a browser instance for you where you can use the model so that's it guys this is so simple and for the first time it might download the codec and that is also of around 1.5 gbs and that's a one time download and it will download for the first time only and it takes a bit of time to load the model as well as the codec because they are of around 1.5 gbs each and you must have at least 4 gbs of ram available to run this model so your system ram should be around 8 gb if you are running windows i am running this on 32 gbs of ram so i have ample amount of ram but it should be able to run easily on 8 gb plus systems as you can see uh, this is the file for the codec and it just ran it for me did not download it because i had that already downloaded now we have the solution running and guys if you want me to keep on working on these kind of solutions i have this subscribe button here please click on it just put in our text here and then select the voices so i have this elon musk voice included as well and then there are two voices that comes with the model that is dave and joe so let's use this default voice dave and just generate a simple sentence and let's see how it performs hey guys please subscribe to the oracle guy yeah so you can see it took around 50 seconds to generate a single uh, sentence on a cpu version which is not bad for a model which is able to run on cpu and that to locally so i'll just replay the voice Hey guys, please subscribe to the Oracle guy. You can see the voice is quite human like. And now let's see how you can clone any voice using this tool. I have added this another tab called instantly clone new voice and you just have to give a voice name here, provide the reference audio. You also have an option to record using your mic itself. You can just record your own voice, clone it. So the way it works is first let's say if you are trying to create a voice for Trump so we'll just give it a name called Trump we just need the reference text and the audio of that reference text for cloning a voice and to make things easy for you i have already included few popular voices like Elon Musk, Jarvis, Joe Rogan, Morgan Freeman, Trump, Benedict Cumberbatch. The voice samples are also available in the same link. So now what we'll try to do is use the sample from Trump's voice and just copy the text and let's listen to the sample voice. We need to build a wall. and it has to be built quickly so you can see it is a sample of around 5 seconds and i have this reference text which is exactly what is being said in this audio and then you click on clone voice you can see how fast it is it just took 5 to 6 seconds to clone the voice and as soon as you clone the voice now if you go back to your generate speech tab you'll have this voice available now so you can select this and now let's paste the text that we want to use and click on generate it took quite a bit of time 3 minutes 41 seconds because we are on cpu version and it's a longer sentence let's see how it sounds my ai voice it's perfect Everyone says it sounds amazing, maybe the best ever. Nobody makes AI voices better than the Oracle guy, believe me. So, you can see it's quite influenced from the original sample that we share with it. So that means that if you want so this sound clip I think which I used as a sample is 
from uh, occasion where he's addressing the audience on a stage our output also sounds something like that so you can use the sample suiting the occasion and the kind of voice you are trying to generate so it could be that you can clone multiple voices of trump for different types of outputs since this version is taking a lot of time and i have a nvidia gpu installed on my system so let's switch to the gpu version so now i'll be running the gpu version i just have to click on run new tts.bat now we have our gpu version running now let's clone a few more voices let's try the jarvis voice now it sounds something allow like this. me to introduce myself i am jarvis a virtual artificial intelligence and i'm here to assist you and let's copy the sample text as well jarvis we'll again click on clone voice now we have the jarvis voice now let's give it this text and click on generate Good evening, sir. System online. Neural speech engine activated. All voice modules are stable. Sir, new TTS is ready for deployment. So you can see the GPU version took only 27.8 seconds, which is quite fast. This is uh, a bit slower because I am also running the screen recording software as well. If I run it without that, it's even faster. I'll clone another voice. We'll use this Elon Musk sample voice. And let's hear the sample. Rockets and Dragon spacecraft. Um, I'm like, okay, if, I mean, if they want to buy a bunch of dragons and falcon 9 rockets that's cool we'll set we'll, you know, we'll certainly sell them and let's clone this and voice is cloned we have our voice and let's click on generate imagine generating speech that sounds human locally with a single recording yeah this one is much better let's try a few more voices let's try joe rogan let's hear the sample voice it's some significant difference in reaction time between males and even untrained males versus female professional athletes yeah we have cloned this and now let's give it the text and click on generate dude that's not even a real person talking that's ai and it sounds freaking perfect so yeah that's the joe rogan one and now try a few more let's try the legendary voice from morgan freeman at the sample i may be the vice president of america but you're the president of this car and it's time to take action let's see the generation now we'll click on generate speech and you can see the gpu version is so fast it generates a single line within 15 to 20 seconds once upon a time only humans could speak like this until new tts changed everything yeah, this was a good one, good output. And I'll try a few more voices which I love. For example, Benedict Cumberbatch is another one. So I'll just select Benedict and let's hear the sample voice. To save a smart ass kid from getting eaten by an octopus. And let's click on clone and, and let's generate the speech. You're about to hear something extraordinary, a voice that doesn't exist yet feels alive. Yeah, this is a great one. I mean, you can see it is taking only 13 seconds, sometimes 15 seconds, which is great for a local model that is able to generate such kind of output with the instant clone feature. So this model requires at least three seconds of sample audio. And another challenge which this model had was it supported only 30 seconds of audio. But in my tool, I have solved it. And now you can generate longer paragraphs because I've handled that in my code. So what it does is it splits your paragraph into chunks and then processes them one by one. And at the end gives you a single output to you. It will feel really seamless. I have optimized it to the level that it works great. Let me give it a really long paragraph and try. This should be longer than 30 seconds. Let's click on generate. So now you can see this particular paragraph has 10 chunks. So it will split it into 10 audio clips, process them one by one, and then combine it and give us a single audio clip, which you can use for longer generation. You can also see the estimated remaining time. Let's see. Let's play it. When I realized I cannot understand the world. I recently debated at the Orange County Speech League tournament within the parliamentary division. This specific branch of debate is an hour long and consists of two parties debating either side of a current political issue. So you can see it has generated a long paragraph on 1 minute 29 seconds and it is possible only through the code which I have written. Natively, the model will not be able to generate such a long generation. And another tip is that 
if you need new voices to clone there's a good website called 101soundboards.com you can search for any popular celebrity here and then search for their voice the clip needs to be longer than three seconds and you would be able to clone them so that's it guys for today do let me know if you like this video and do try to use the model and share the feedback